everyone, it's me, Colin, on the ASC League channel, and here we are for the Coppin Amateur Series, the third qualifying race. This time, we are at Martinsville, the first short track of the season, and we are excited to see who will end up out, end up on top here, as, and who will win the qualifying race as well. We have the biggest field so far going into a qualifying race. 26 drivers will attempt to make the race. Only 10 will qualify, so... It's definitely a hard field here today. We have some newcomers in the field, though. We see Sebastian Torres in the 96, as well as AJ Bain in the 67. Those two drivers for their own teams. Underdogs to make the field. We're going to see if they can make it on their first try. But for now, we see John Arndt as the first driver going off. The 05 car for Zaxby's. Looking very strong. He, um, I believe he qualified for Daytona. can't say if he qualified for Atlanta or not, but Arndt, one of the quicker cars in the field, actually a teammate for one of the full-timers, that would be Brian Thompson, for Shark Bite Racing. See, coming out, Callum Wood, a veteran of this of the league, at least. I'm new to the series, just like everyone is here, actually, but he is running part-time with Max Stein, and Ray Bestos will be on the car for whenever Callum Wood is in the 25 car, and Max Stein will have Subway on the car. You see some more cars come off. Dylan Membrilla, the unsponsored machine for this race. No sponsorship for at Martinsville. You see Ryan Dunn in Mod Space, Toyota, as well as Tyler Selspin hopping behind the 88 for this race. Uflung Poo in the 50 trying to make his first race. And Cesar Chavez back in the car um, doing a part-time ride with team owner Webster Zygard for Zygard, Team Zygard, I mean. Um, Taco Bell on the hood of this Chevy. So there's Aiden Milliken, the 93 car out front, right there. Milliken making his first start. And Giovanni Barraza in the green Chevy, trying to make his first appearance in the actual race. See James Richardson in the Walmart Ford. Had a decent run last week. It appears there was some obstruction on the track, but it looks like it's been cleared out. Anyways, let's go to our stats as we are three minutes into the run. And we see out front, we actually have the 16 is actually leading. And if we go back here, the 16 is our new driver. And this is um, Ryan Kendall. He is not new to the series, but he is new to Red Stallion Racing, the zero-driven car. We'll be piloting four races. That 16 will be shown. So we're going to have to see how Ryan Kendall does, getting a little bit more experience, and if this could help his cup career out. See, Kevin Ulrich was in the cup series, but now has been pushed down to the Copper and Amateur Series, driving part-time in the 90 car, unsponsored on that car. A lot of cars coming into this race unsponsored as the hype dies down from Daytona. You see Sebastian Torres looks like he's going to go to pit road trying to make his first appearance. See Samantha Jones in her first appearance, trying to bring Speedco into this, into the Martinsville race. The SDK drive for the Cure 250 is what the race is. Hey, everyone here is trying to make that race. We see Ryder Smith in the 77 car here. Alan Holland in the 24 car, Purview Chevy, making his second start trying to make the race rick witt this was a big story as rick this is he wasn't meant to be driving this race but instead he's driving this one as his main event instead of the pencil pro series he will not be participating in that race due to personal conflicts as he feels like he just needs to step away from the pencil pro series for a race and try to get back in the swing of things maybe get some success out of this race but first he has to qualify for it and if I see here, he's not inside the top 10. In fact, he is 16th on the board right now, so if he misses this race, he will not be racing this weekend. And that will be just a total disappointment for him. Uh, we got some new cars on the top here. And it appears the 16 is not even close to the top anymore. So on the top, we have Callum Wood. And Wood right here, so... 
Also with them, Nicholas Smudio driving the five for this week for Avalon Motorsports. You can distinguish who's driving that car by the front logo for the Astro cars. 55 at Dylan Umbrella. No sponsorship, but he wants to make his third race in a row. He wasn't actually supposed to have sponsorship last week at Atlanta, but Georgia State University picked him up and offered him sponsorship. Julio Caesar, no sponsorship on him. Axis usually sponsors this car, but no such deal for this weekend. He has no sponsorship, as well as the 90 car of Kevin Ulrich as he tries to make his first start. A lot of unsponsored cars in the top bit of the field. Della Membrella moves up to second, and Zach Kamoski is also inside the top five. If we can find him, he's actually going down pit road. He might be done with his lap, with that lap that he posted. So the peak Chevy this looks like to be done. Also in the field, Ryan Kendall back up to seventh. Who flung poo trying to make his first race? He's in, just dropped down to ninth. That was Ben Gerhardt that moved the field up. Gerhardt, I believe, is trying to make his first start. Ada Milliken now in ninth. And I don't see any more changes. Oh, Ryan Dunn makes a move inside the field. And one of the reoccurring trends is you need clean air to have a good lap. If you're battling with people on the track, that is not going to be good. The last two races we've seen, you've wanted to be in a pack, but this race is completely different. You want to try to gauge where you come out to be all alone to try to get the best lap times. Alan Holland in the 24 car now up in the top. So some underdogs trying to make their way into this race with only three minutes remaining. Looking down through the field, Aiden Milliken on the outside looking in. Who flung poo? Giovanni Barraza, Aiden Thomas, Cesar Chavez, Tyler Selspin, Ryder Smith, Haley Wish, Carson Bowers, Samantha J Jones, Jose Vaquez, James Richardson, Rick Witten, 23rd. And then the guy who started on field, John Arndt, in 24th, A.J. Bain and Sebastian Torres, the two newcomers, are in 25th and 26th. The last spots on the field is they actually still sit in pit road. Or, no, Sebastian has actually come out trying to make a better run. He is the only driver in the 19s. But Ryan Dunn has pushed himself up to the top of the board in first now. And Samantha Jones as well in fourth. So great qualifying run so far for that 52 car. Now Samantha's on top. And so far nothing changing. It seems like the top drivers are staying in there. And they're the only ones that are getting better. Ryan, Ryan Kendall trying to make one of his four races that he'll attempt. Running 11th. There he is in the 16 car. And obviously, Rick Witt would be a complete heartbreak if he didn't make it. But if you see, he is in heavy traffic right now. So it may not be that plausible. See Zach Moskvi trying to come out, maybe make another lap. We have a minute 21 remaining. This is when you got to make a fast lap, whether you're in traffic or not. I don't believe the board has moved at all, but currently the bubble is Julio Caesar. Kevin Ulrich, Ryan Kendall, and Aiden Milliken. A minute on the board to make a quick lap. And we are going to see if anyone is going to pull what I would call a Kieran Pangborn and shoot to the top in the final seconds. See, Aiden Milliken is done. Jose Vaquez is done. I don't think they're going to be able to get another lap in. With drivers coming in, so other drivers might get a quick lap being all alone. We're going to have to see, though. Still a lot of people out on the track. No changes. 27 seconds remaining. Looks like Allison, I, I mean, Samantha Jones is going to call it quits first. She is pretty much locked in. So she doesn't need to complete any more laps. But everyone else is struggling. Rick Witt is pulling it down. And Rick is not going to qualify for the race. And that has got to be frustrating. 23rd place. Wow. Carson Bowers down as well. 
And we are, com I believe we are official. Dylan Umbrella at fourth. He'll probably make the race. And I believe we are done. And yes, practice is over. So there are your finishing results. And we are complete. So Samantha Jones, Ryan Dunn, Callum Wood, Dylan Umbrella, Tyler Selspin, Nicholas Medio, James. Wait, we just saw some people get in. Tyler Selspin and James Richardson have propelled themselves in in the final seconds. I did not even see that. Incredible. So Tyler Selspin and James Richardson, under my nose, just squeaked in. And now Julio Caesar and Kevin Ulrich are out. Wow. So those two unsponsored cars are not going to be able to show their colors, or lack of thereof, on the track tomorrow. And that is a shame as Caesar and Ulrich will not make the field. Gerhardt, by the skin of his teeth, will make it in. Last time it was him in 11th place. Alan Holland in the 24 car will make it. As well as Zach Komoski. So let's see. Your finishing order would be Samantha Jones, Ryan Dunn, Callum Wood, Dylan Membrilla, Tyler Selspin, Nicholas Samudio, James Richardson, Zach Komoski, Alan Holland, and Ben Gerhardt all making in the, f in the field. Julio Caesar, Kevin Ulrich, Ryan Kendall, A. Milliken, Pooh, Wish, Barraza, Thomas, Chavez, Smith, Bowers, Vaquez, Witt, Arndt, Torres, and Bain all are not in the field. So there are your 10 that will be going to Martinsville tomorrow. We'll see you then. But for now, the ASC League channel is signing out. The, the Martinsville, Sujin J. Komen, Race for the Kier 250 will be on next. Anyways, for now, we're signing out. See you all next time. Bye-bye.